guys, it's Jay from Native Horse Girl, and today we are going to the Royal Rumble. So let's go. So for this show, we drove about five and a half hours, which might seem long for other people, but for us, it's pretty pretty regular drive to go to a show. And this is my friend Jeffrey and his showmanship class. We got there about three o'clock, and showmanship started at six o'clock, so we had plenty of time to get everyone ready. And then. Uh, the showmanship judge was Krisha Geffert. I might have said her last name wrong. And I really liked her as a judge. I liked... I just pretty much really liked her. <laughs> so this is my class coming in. I It was a pretty competitive class, I'd say. And Rip really wasn't wanting to behave when it came to standing still, but I think we we did pretty good for our first jackpot. Obviously, he, you can tell he doesn't really want to cooperate the best, but he did pretty decent. I think there was definitely some stuff we have work on before the next show, but I'm happy with how we did for our first one. And so showmanship was blow and go, so I didn't have to fit out luckily that night. So that was nice. So I didn't end up placing, but the judge told me that I just needed to work on Rip and getting him more used to the chaos almost. She said that my hand placement with the show stick and in general I was perfect, but Rip just needed some help. <laughs> Okay, so now the next day, we started washing right away in the morning. We only spot washed because the generator wasn't working, so we couldn't really fully wash and blow out quick. So we just spot washed where they were really dirty and their legs so we could fit out easier. And then we got back and started blowing and the pour was very slow, but we eventually got everything done. <laughs> And then I started working on some clipping, touch-ups, and stuff like that, just so he would look nice and sharp and clean. Then I started fitting, and I've never really fit a lot before, so this was kind of my first time. And then we kind of chilled and waited for classes, and <laughs> ate lunch and stuff like that. And the boys were all passed out. We just sat there for a while. And then the tents blew away too. We had to take those down. <laughs> okay, so now Jeffrey is in his market class for Ring A, and Ring A was judged under Chad Holdkemp. I really for liked really him good also. Class, uh, you know, as we get out here and go, and I tell you, we got a really a high quality one to win this class with. Uh, so fresh, uh, so so quality in terms of his look. Uh, you know, got a long ways to go to be ready, and I don't know where his end point is. It doesn't matter, but with his combination of soundness, uh, look, still some muscularity, uh, gives us just a great, great presence, good place to start this class in a nice kind of steer. The placing really gets down here between second and third. There's some things about the steer in second I like a little bit better, and the places I like him better is he's longer and square through the upper part of his hip. He's wider in terms of his pins, that is, a one and third. Uh, he, he's just a little bit, almost take a little more leg hair down where he's just a little bit extra big legged, uh, but I like his extra extension. I think that cow's got a lot of room to keep feeding and feeding and growing and doing some of the right things. I like that extra just like the body and extension. I like the completeness of the gold one coming here next. He's got a good presence about him. Uh, he's very uniform in terms of his body shape and body depth, but a calf had just a little bit shorter hipped. A little narrower pin, not quite as much explosion to get right in there behind him, but a, but a good solid calf. I just hope he's got enough gas as he keeps on going uh, down the road, but I like his, uh, I like his complete. This does some nice things about him. The red steer is just a smooth made individual. I like his smoothness uh, in, in terms of pattern and design. 
needs a little more width, a little more power, a little sharper in his hawk, but I think he's better in terms of his front end structure over the next black steer, and I think that's where his advantage is. Go ahead and take the red one out of here. The black one, I like his muscularity, I like his power, but he's a little too far forward in terms of his front shoulder. If you watch him, he gets a little too far in his knee uh, and just change his tail head overall structure. But again, I do like his muscle and thickness. He does have that, which we sure appreciate. Nice class of steers. Okay, so this was my market class under ring A. Again, under Chad Holtkamp. I, again, really like this judge. I think he's a good judge. <laughs> So we did better today, I think. We still were a little fidgety, but he did a lot better. He was more calm. So there was obviously like every show you go to, things I could have worked on. I think I could have worked on, I can work on fitting as always. Again, this was one of my first times fitting, so. And then also just him in general, getting him out to more shows. Like I said, this was his first show of the year, so. But I think he did pretty good on Saturday. So I placed first in my class and I was not expecting to win my class at all. So I was kind of confused and didn't know what to do. So yeah. I was not expecting to win my class, but I did. <laughs> Nice class of crossbred steers here. We've got, uh, got some give and take, some things we could talk about. Uh, steer to go ahead and start with. I think he is a combination calf if you look at him. He's got a really good look to him. Young lady take him going out of there, but he's so big in terms of his body, good in terms of his structure, good in terms of his balance. Not the heaviest muscled one out here, but he's still very adequate in terms of way he can put some things together. Very nice steer. The heavy muscle steer is the one that comes here in second. A little more modern in terms of size. And then I had to get over to ring B, which was shown under Bodie Schliff. I probably butchered his last name. <laughs> but I ended up placing second in this class. He was a little fidgety through this class, as you can see, but I'm happy with how we did. And there was only three cows in this class, too. <laughs> that... Shar looking calf was really nice, so definitely deserved the win. I also really liked this judge. He had good pointers and he said good things about the cattle. So you can kind of tell I was rushed in this class, but I just kind of powered through it. We had the crossbred grand drive to go to in ring A. So I was just kind of bouncing off classes between barns. Well, a fun one to evaluate here in class two uh, with the young man's yellow steer and uh, one that hits me really good in, in terms of one that I think's got a very high likelihood of, of feeding and turning out to a very high level. A calf that's just uh, just pretty doggone good from the side in terms of how his neck attaches to the top side of his shoulder, his squareness and levelness out of his hip. His angles read extremely good. I still think he's got enough. When you step in behind him, I don't know if he's overwhelming in terms of back shape or just out there in stoutness or bone. Uh, but once again, I think his drill, his look, his balance, and then his combination of having enough everywhere allows him uh, to win this class uh, very handily. A uh, very good steer to be win to win. Uh, two and three got a little closer in my opinion. I probably wouldn't argue a whole lot uh, depending on where you want to be in priorities. Fresher hair steer here that's got a lot of practicality and dimension to him. Uh, with the class, uh, you know, I like his width, I like his boldness of width. The judge will be choosing his grand champion and his reserve champion, crossbred steers. So this is 
the Crossbred Grand Drive. There was a lot of good cattle in this class, so we didn't end up winning, but I was just thankful to be in a class with a lot of really good cattle. So this was an amazing show. I really liked how it was well run, it was organized, I didn't feel rushed into any class or anything like that, so it was a great show to go to, especially for their first show. So we got there way too early on Saturday, so the calves were kind of tired and stuff, so that's definitely something we can work on in the future is kind of like chillaxing, like we don't have to get ready super early. As we get, uh, get out here ready to pick our champion crossbred, uh, you know, we waited just a little while and I and I mean it all that good and I, and I hope we can get where we take it that way there. And, and you know, we've had that and, and it, the show has been so good and I think he just put some things together. This young fella here that won that first class there, he was waiting out here and waiting in the ring the whole time and everybody lined up. Young fella, you did good there. And I walked up and I said, we're ready to go. He says, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be in this group. I said, nope, you've won your class. You're out here, you belong. And I've had that feeling before too. You get in deep water and you wonder, you wonder, my goodness, what do I do? Am I supposed to be here? Am I supposed to belong? And uh, I compliment him and, and be proud of that when you get the chance to be out here amongst the, the quality and kind. It's sure fun to, fun to be and fun to do. And, you know, that is just one of those life's lessons that we're just trying to pick up from there. If it's just a shot of, you know, confidence, hey, I can be out here and know the hard work it takes to get one to present it to it. There's so many things that come together. It's so hard to get them, to get them here and get them ready. So uh, it's been fun. Good crossbred show. We'll talk a little bit more when we pick an overall champion, but it's been a great division. Give these guys all a nice round of applause. I'll find you a nice pair. So we are home now. It was a great first jackpot, and we it was great experience for the calves, great experience for me. I learned a lot as normal, and I'm just very happy with how everything turned out. So guys, that was my video for this week. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Instagram, at Danny Horse Girl, and my TikTok, at Girl. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.